OK, so we're going to have a look at square numbers with repeating digits at the end. And we're only interested in non-zero repeating digits, because you can just get repeating zeros really easily by considering powers of 10. So for example, 12 squared, you can get two repeating fours at the end of this. And then if you go up to 38 squared, you can even have three repeating non-zero digits at the end of this number. And sadly, if you were to continue this pattern, 14,444, that isn't a square number. So sadly, this pattern doesn't quite work. However, we're going to be interested in just looking at, can we find a square number that has four repeating non-zero digits at the end? And just to sort of make a start towards answering this problem, we'll just think about what the possible digits at the end of a square number can actually be. There are only so many possibilities. So if, if you imagine you've got 10a plus b, and then you square this, so this is your original number, and then you square it, so you've got an a in your tens column and a b in your units column. When you square this, you get 100 a squared plus 20ab and then plus b squared. And you'll see when you consider what the units are here, these are both multiples of 10, so these don't contribute to your units column, so you're sort of only really determined by the last digit there. Then you've got 10 options for what your last digit can be, so if you just consider 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared, 5 squared, and so on, and then look at what the last digit of each of these are, you'll see that we're actually already kind of limited to only a certain number of possibilities. So we're not really interested in having zero, but even so, we've still got basically n squared then has to end in one of one, four, five, six, or nine. And we'll put zero in as well, but we're not particularly interested in zero for the sake of this problem. And what we can do here is We've got a lot of cases, so let's try and rule out some cases. And something that will be particularly useful here is, I'll introduce this as just a little lemma. So if you consider the remainder of a square number when you divide it by 4, so you consider a square number modulo 4, so let's say you've got n squared, this has to have a remainder of either 0 or 1 modulo 4. And it's really simple to prove this, actually. So let's just provide a proof to explain what's going on here. So if n is odd, then n, you can write this as 2k plus 1, all squared, which gives you a 4k squared plus 4k plus 1. And then this is just equivalent to 1 modulo 4, because you've got basically two multiples of 4 there, and you're just left with a remainder of 1. And then if you consider an even number, this is even easier, because 2k squared this is equal to 4 times k squared, and this is a multiple of 4, so there's no remainder when you divide it by 4, so this is just equivalent to 0 mod 4. So now let's see if we can use this lemma to help rule out some of the cases. So if you've got a number that ends as a square number, and it ends 1, 1, 1, 1, it ends in four ones. let's have a think, can this be a square number using this fact? Well, if you consider everything after the hundreds column, you'll notice everything before there is still, that's a multiple of 100 basically, so we can write this as 100 times some number m plus 11 left over. So this is your hundreds plus your thousands, so that gives you a multiple of 100, and then plus 11. And then because this is a multiple of 4, because 100 is a multiple of 4, this is just equivalent to 11, which is equivalent to 3 modulo 4. And this is no good. So we can actually rule out ending in 1, which is particularly nice. Because this, if it ends 1, 1, 1, 1, this can't be a square number. Otherwise, it would have to be equivalent to 0 or 1 mod 4. And then let's do the same thing for 1 ending 4, 4, 4, 4. So you can write this again as 100 times some number, some different m, plus 44. So here, this is a multiple of 4 plus another multiple of 4. So this is equivalent to 0 mod 4. So here, we'll just put a question mark next to this one. We haven't ruled this one out, but maybe we can at least rule out some other cases. So let's do 5, 5, 5, 5. This is 100 times some integer plus 55. And this gives you a remainder of 3 when you divide this by 4. So this is 52 plus 3. So this is no good. So that means that something ending 5, 5, 5, 5 can't be a square number. And let's do the same for 6, 6, 6, 6. You get 100 times some number plus 66. And then this, 64 plus 2, gives you a remainder of 2 modulo 4. 
So again, this is no good. So we're ruling out lots of cases. And then finally, if you consider the one ending in four nines, this gives you 100 times, again, some integer plus 99. 99, this is 96 plus 3, so this gives you a remainder of 3. And you divide it by 4. So this one is ruled out as well. So the only one that's left, actually, is ending in 4. So if we do have a square number that has four repeating digits at the end, it has to end 4, 4, 4, 4. So let's see if it's actually possible to have a square number which ends in four fours. At the moment, we've only really tested to see if the tens and the ones column causes any problems. So why don't we have a quick look at the hundreds and thousands columns, and then if that doesn't give us any problems, we can have a go at constructing an example. So where we've checked these by looking at the number mod modulo four, what we can do is we can have a look at maybe the hundreds column modulo eight, because you know that a thousand is a multiple of eight, and you get 444. When you divide this by 8, this gives you a remainder of 4, which is actually acceptable. A square number can have a remainder of 0, 1, or 4 when you divide it by 8. So that doesn't cause us any problems. And then if we have a look at this, now we're going to look at it modulo 16, because you know 10,000 is a multiple of 16. So if I write n squared, this is 10,000 multiplied by some integer m plus 4444. 4, 4, 4. And then, if you want to have a look at this, what is the remainder of modulo 16? This entire term here just disappears, that's a multiple of 16. And then here, this is 4,400 is a multiple of 16, that's 16 times 275, sort of near, nice multiple. And then this gives you, if you work it out, a remainder of 12, and you divide by 16. Let's see if this causes us any problems. So you know that n squared is equivalent to 12 modulo 16. It's not a multiple of 16. And this is quite interesting, actually. So n squared, if I write, is not a multiple of 16. What does this tell us about n? Well, imagine if n was a multiple of 4, then n squared would be a multiple of 4 squared. It would be a multiple of 16. But because n squared isn't a multiple of 16, you can conclude then that n is not a multiple of 4. And this is quite useful because then if we know that n is going to be an even number because even squared gives you an even number and odd squared gives you an odd number. So n is an even number but it's not a multiple of 4. So you can write n then is equal to, we'll call it 4k plus 2 for some integer k. And then what's really useful about this is if you actually have a look at n squared then, so you do 4k plus 2 all squared, this gives you 16k squared, and then plus 2 times 2 times 4, so plus 16k, and then plus 4. So now if you look at this modulo 16, what are we going to get? Well, these two are both multiples of 16, so these are going to disappear. And now you're left with a remainder of 4 when you divide by 16. So this seems to be a contradiction. If you assume that you've got a square number that ends in 4 4s, you can show, just sort of reading off from the number here, that it has a remainder of 12 when you divide it by 16. But then you also know that it's, it's a multiple of 2, but it's not a multiple of 4. This means when you square it, it should have a remainder of 4 when you divide it by 16. So it can't be equivalent to 12 and 4 modulo 16. So this means, sadly, that no such square number exists. So then you can conclude, sadly, there are no such square numbers. which end in four non-zero repeating digits.